empty, no water can be sprayed. To refill tank, enter a body of water and press the R button. Instructions complete. Proceed. One more thing I need to mention, especially for this video. This video is for educational purposes only, guys. Again, I'm not showing you anything illegal, so please do not go and download anything illegal that you don't own, such as the games and things like that. That is up to you. Just need to put that disclaimer out there. But let's get straight into the video. This is probably the simplest and easiest guide of all the emulators I've actually probably done so far. Forget Alright guys, again if you want to download any GameCube ROMs or Nintendo Wii ROMs, best thing I do is always head on over to our best friend Google, type in GameCube ISO downloads and I'm just going to use the first one called ROM download. So you can try that one, whichever one you want and it will obviously lift up a load of different games here. So you've got for example Pokemon, Colosseum, every type of different game is included. So click on any game you fancy whichever one it is and obviously simple as hit the download button and let that file download now just for the purposes of the video I will not be downloading the file because like a good little boy I am I have the legal version of this file in other words I'm not gonna actually click the download button but I have it on the computer so you get the idea of what I'm trying to say but yeah pretty much find the game somehow um, Again, I'm not encouraging any illegal copyright activity here. That is completely your responsibility. I'm just showing you the various ways of getting games and things like that. So please knock yourselves out. Alright guys, so these are my two games. I've got Mario Kart Double Dash and Super Mario Sunshine. So what I'm going to do is right click them all. And we're just going to extract it here to the folder itself. So if I double click on it. So remember again, we're using WinRAR to actually extract the file. So you can see here it's a disk image file. So what we're going to do is just extract it. And we're just going to send it to where we are now. So in the downloads folder. I'm just going to extract it here. There you go. You can see it's making a... It's extracting the file basically into a ISO image. So always make sure all your game files are disk image files. So we're going to go ahead and do the first one. Okay, next one I'm going to do is Super Mario Sunshine, so I'm going to see if we can extract it here. Okay, right, it won't let me do it, so double click on it. So we found it here, close that, and we're going to extract it again to the same place in Downloads folder. So I'll give this a few minutes. Now you'll notice once the games are actually extracted, they will actually appear at the bottom of my folder as an older file. That is because the game file is quite an old one. So I'll just give it a second and let it load up and it's done right so now the extracted game files are most likely going to be all the way down here here they are they're both here so you can see both game files 1.5 gigabytes so we're just going to copy them straight to my usb and we're going to go into the gamecube games folder and we're just going to paste them in here so transfer the games off onto usb then the next step is to literally go onto the xbox and plug it in and load up the dolphin emulator all right guys the first step you want to do with your usb is you just want to make sure you want to check what format is so right click usb go to properties you can see mine's in fat32 format now this needs to be changed so right click go to format and we're going to change the ntfs very important you do this now you want to do is hit the click format it will erase everything on your USB so just give it a few moments and it will convert and format the this USB into a NTFS drive which is what it needs to be in order for it to run so you can see it's completed and it's now as NTFS alright guys so the next thing you want to do is go on over to your USB go to properties and you need to go to the security option and click advanced and we're going to change some settings in here so just follow it is on screen so go to the add function we want to select it a new group and in this box here you just want to type in exactly as you see here on the screen now what this is going to do is it's going to allow the xbox and the dolphin emulator to pretty much in other words communicate and talk to the usb drive so as you can see here i'm just typing in 
the words application and what we'll do is we'll do the check names and Windows will automatically list the directory for us so I'll press check names you can see it's appeared with this directory so once you've got everything as you see here you just basically want to go on and click the OK button and now you see this list of options we want to do full control and once you've done that tick the bottom look option here just want to give it a little tick box so everything's okay and tick this bottom bit here and press okay now that's your usb setup you will get some error messages and warnings just press yes and continue that's all you need to do you will see it's added in a new um, directory in there so now all we're going to do is go into the usb and we're just going to make two folders one called dolphin and the other one called gamecube so the first folder we're going to go ahead and make is called gamecube or should we call it yeah gamecube no we'll call this dolphin now what this is is basically where the xbox is going to make some system files temporary ones into here so we'll have one called dolphin the other one call it gamecube or wii games whichever i've only got gamecube so i'm going to go with that so i'm going to go to my games now so you can see both my games here which is an ISO image file format as always so just select the games for your GameCube I mean so these two here for me I'm gonna copy it paste it into my GameCube folder and that's it we're gonna head on over to the Xbox and load up the Dolphin emulator now alright guys so we're back on the Xbox we're just gonna load up the Dolphin emulator so you can see it here you can see I plugged in my USB it has been detected on the Xbox so I'll load up the Dolphin emulator and we're going to go on over to the settings part of the program and we basically need to set a directory up so using the left analog stick scroll over to path and folders we need to add a path so basically you should see your USB detected there you can see my folders I've made so we're going to make the first one called dolphin so if it needs to save any system files it can save it to this folder here any temporary files it needs to do so just go ahead and select that and you can see it's made it so now we need to add a second path and this time I'm going to add the GameCube games. If you have a, any Wii games, you'll do the exact same thing I'm doing here. So just select the folder, don't select the games. Just press select and you will see the path added. So what you need to do now is close the settings menu. And we're basically going to restart the Dolphin app. You can see it's already appeared straight away and the bonuses, the cover arts are all included. So you can see the games here are all fully loaded. The paths are all correct and we need to change some settings in the settings menu now so you can see there's a ton of different things you can do with here we're not going to touch too many of these things we're going to leave them alone to be honest most of the time so what we're going to do is we're going to change the internal resolution you can see it's already set to three times native 1080p i would recommend leaving it at 1080p just because the games run a little bit smoother and the chance of crashing it is much more less likely to happen but you can see you can change the aspect rate ratios here you can change the resolution so just for the time being i'm going to leave everything alone as it is just to show you it all working and i will show you later on in the video changing the ratio the resolution and how the game is upscaled so once you're happy with that you can come out the settings menu and you can see your games are loaded so any games you download the cover art will automatically be applied so it's very very good very simple so let's go ahead and load up the first game now the games do both boot quite quick and you'll get this probably up here compiling shaders now this will only happen the first time you're loading the game so it shouldn't happen each time you go to play the game um, again it depends on what game you're running so it may take a little bit longer for other games whereas this one not too long but let it do its thing compiling the shaders and the game will boot up once it's completed Alright guys, so you can see the Nintendo logo, the game is fully booted up and I'm just going to show you it is running on the Xbox Series X, so you can see here the Dolphin emulator is running, um, it seems to be running perfectly fine to be honest on the Xbox Series X, you can see here the game it is, 
the aspect ratio needs to be changed I am aware of it it is in a letterbox format but we can change that in the settings menu of the dolphin once the game is actually running so you can see here we've got Super Mario Sunshine playing looks really really good very good I mean it's not even upscaled yet I'm currently running it in 1080p so guys the reason why I made a dolphin folder on the USB was because when it makes a virtual memory card you can see in the top it saved it on the USB under the GameCube folder so that's why I made a separate folder so it can make it can basically have a path for two different places um, you can see the game here is running great yes the screen is very small I am aware of that but you can change that you can actually completely change the, the resolution and the aspect ratio but so far the game's running crystal clear smooth no performance no lagging nothing as always they work perfect what happened What's this icky paint like goop? It's moving! Now, now, boys, don't touch that stuff. No! It is empty. No water can be sprayed. To refill tank, enter a body of water and press the R button. Instructions complete. Proceed. So guys, that is the end of the video. I hope it was easy and simple. My steps are very simple to follow. You can probably tell by now, it's probably the easiest emulator to set up. Nothing needed, no biases, nothing like that. You don't even need to download the cover art. It's all automatically added within the program. So it's an awesome bit of kit, this Dolphin emulator. It is in the early stages, so some games may work, some may not. Bear that in mind, so the games I've tried work fine. If you try to load another game, you might be getting a black screen or you might get an error or the app just crashes. That is entirely dependent on the game. The emulator can't run everything smoothly, so just bear that in mind. It's probably not something you're doing wrong. It's probably just the game file or the game you're trying to load itself, so just bear that in mind and try not to panic too much, basically. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back with some awesome gaming content. The Xena Xbox 360 emulator is coming. It is in the works. I am just figuring out a little bit. So, yeah, stay tuned for that, guys. Until next time, take care.